man, I read this book today and it's just been bothering me. So I figured I'd hop on, uh, hop on the old Facebook Live and chat about it. Um, yeah. So like I said, um, this book's really been bothering me and I figured I should just talk about it. Dazzler. This is the new Dazzler one shot. I think it came out like two weeks ago. I was a huge Dazzler fan back in the day. I know it's weird that a boy, you know, a young teenage boy was into the Dazzler comic about a uh, female rock star. But gosh, they were fun books. and They were really well done and they were very steeped in the Marvel Universe. Plus, later on, those Sienkiewicz covers were amazing. So I already knew about the character, kind of a fan of the character, um, Allison Blair. I decided to check out uh, this new one shot. I don't know what's going on at Marvel, but this book was, I want to say, I want to say the most positive things I can about this, but I, there's just no way on earth I could recommend this book for another human being to read. Um, it has a nice little intro there. talks about Alison Blair, never wanted to be a hero, a mutant, blah, 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 and she became a rock star. Uh, now Allison is back to her musical roots, but being a force for good isn't something she's willing to leave behind. Bum, bum, bum. I don't know who this person is. Uh, I don't know any of these. I don't recognize any of these names in um, in the credits here. Uh, I'm hoping it was just a bad day for him because I'm just not digging digging what they put out in this book. Uh, it opens up with these two characters. I guess one's this one's an Inhuman. I've already forgotten their names. Um, they're very interchangeable. There's nothing nothing too extraordinary about them. Uh, I'm assuming they're characters that are in the Marvel Universe elsewhere or appeared in other books. Then there's this guy. He's a mutant. I uh, guess his power is he has scaly arms. I don't know. So anyways, just jumping into the story. The, the solicit said um, Dazzler's in a punk band. Now, I don't really get a vibe that the songs she's singing are punk songs, but it does show her playing in smaller venues. Um, so anyways, uh, d- 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 yes, and the, and the she's playing under the band Lightbringer now as opposed to being called Dazzler. She's leaving her Dazzler name behind. Not sure what that's all about, but we'll jump into it. So here, here's my main, my main, uh, well, this is a nice little scene at the club as Allison's playing. Let's see if we can get to, get to the parts that I had issues with. Let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, so there's these mutants, right? And these mutants hate the Inhumans and humans, and they're being very threatening to them and whatnot. Um, it's very, uh, you know, I, I like to have my social commentary a little, a little concealed. You know, have it be an allegory, have it be, you know, symbolically represented in the books. But uh, this writer doesn't seem to be able to get past the fact that that's what that's what uh, they're writing about. Um, there's there's no subtlety to this writing at all. It's just. These guys hate these guys, and they're just going to be hateful, hateful people. There's no misunderstanding. It's just meanie. It's just meanies against goodies, and that's all this book is. And I'm, I'm sure they're making a statement either about racism or about uh, homophobia, but it's just too blatant, and it's not. It's not well done. I don't. I don't want to diss on it too much. The art's fine. Uh, Dazzler's face is a little weird looking here, but the art's fine, and 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 the story's okay, I guess. But this dialogue is, oh, you know, and, and the thing about this book is all the characters kind of sound the same. All the goody characters sound the same and all the baddie characters sound the same. And then those mutants are showing up in another club. Um, and, 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 and speaking of that, you have this little, little, like, little girl, little boy. I just want to tell you that it's so great what you're doing. It means so much to all of us. That's not what children talk like. I don't know what they're, what, what this, who, how many children this writer hangs around with, but that is not what children sound like, especially when they're reading their favorite celebrity. Um, yeah, uh, like I said, the art's fine. You know, let's look at the art. The art's okay. A lot of the, a lot of the book is this. A lot of nothing happens in the book, just these conversations that are clearly meant to be social commentary, and they just come across as, as drab and boring. Um, uh, yeah, look, and look, there's Dazzler punching scale face out. I don't, I, that's the climax. That's your, that's the most action this book sees. Actually, no, later on, Dazzler, in a few seconds, in another page, Dazzler has these two girls, these two goody goody girls sing, and that gives her more of her light power. And, uh, you know, I, I used to love Dazzler back in the day. I just, if this was issue one of an ongoing series, I think I'd be checking out after issue one. Um, they're really they're setting up, and she gives this speech at the end of the book that just seems so forced. And gosh, I ha- I hate to diss on the comic. I don't want to. 
Uh, ultimately, the whole point of the book is that it has it ends with Dazzler rejoining the X Men, and that sounds like a much more interesting story than what was in this book. Astonishing X Men fourteen. The cover looks great. It does have a different creative talent team on it, so maybe it's it's something I want to check out. I, all I know is that this book I can't recommend it to anybody. Um, I, even as a Dazzler fan, I can't recommend it. However. Again, if you if you like the art, the art's pretty. The story, the story, the concept of you know these these underground shows. I guess these these punk rock shows, these underground shows going on, is kind of cool and it's following the band and whatnot. But as a whole, just not feeling this Dazzler comic. I'm gonna have to not recommend it to anybody. I'm sorry. But while I have you here, let me talk about this book right here, Sugar Boogers. Sugar Boogers Issue 3 is on its way to comic stores now. Um, and I just updated the website. You can actually order it on the website, and you'll get it in time, around the same time that the, uh, it arrives in comic shop. Check out our website. It's CosmicTimes.net. We have, uh, I just updated the, the uh, like I said, I updated the online store now. There's all kinds of cool variants on there for Sugar Burgers. Plus, you can uh, order your copy of Sugar Burgers Issue 3 if you're so inclined. Actually, Issues 1, 2, and 3, plus all of our other titles can be found on our web store at CosmicTimes.net. And again, to Dazzler, I really wanted to like the book. I'm going to look... I'm, Next time, maybe I'll pick up that pick up that astonishing X Men number fourteen because they can give the character another shot to see if um, Dazzler in two thousand eighteen is as cool as Dazzler was in the nineteen eighties. That's about it. Again, check out CosmicTimes.net. Until next time, stay cosmic.